My name is Kyle Divert, and in this video, I will be presenting a surgical case of knotless retentionable direct fixation of a posterior medial meniscal root tear. Here are our disclosures. Medial meniscal root tears are commonly seen in early degenerative stages. Current techniques in the literature for meniscal root repairs include transosseous and suture anchor techniques. Transosseous technique has the ease of an anterior tibial tunnel approach but produces an indirect fixation with reported gapping after cycling. The suture anchor has been shown to be stronger due to the direct fixation, but surgical approach is difficult with the posterior position of the root. In this surgical technique, we utilized a knotless anchor construct that combines both advantages of direct fixation under the tibia and the possibility of retensioning after initial fixation. Standard diagnostic arthroscopy is performed, confirming the presence of a medial meniscus posterior root tear without significant medial compartment arthritis. The meniscal footprint was prepared on the tibial insertion using a curette, and a shaver was used to prepare the inferior edge of the meniscus, as well as the tibial footprint. Tibial aimer with a marking hook and a drill sleeve were used to define the insertion of the posterior root on the tibia. 2.4 mm tibial tunnel with a drill sleeve and insert were drilled. The drill sleeve insert was removed and a lasso wire was shuttled into the joint and retrieved with suture grasper out through the anterior medial portal. The distal end of the knotless suture implant is passed through the loop of the lasso wire and shuttled through the tibial tunnel. Resistance is felt to slowly pull the suture into the tibia. Once the anchor is below the tibial plateau, the anchor is set by pulling the black blue suture and a hemostat is placed around the anchor sheet to prevent loosening. The solid blue suture is now retrieved using a suture grasper and a suture passer is used to pass it through the meniscus without significantly tensioning the suture. Here the blue suture is shuttled from superior to inferior utilizing a loose tiger link suture through the meniscus to achieve this horizontal mattress configuration. The hemostat is released from the anchor sheet and the conversion suture is used to pull a solid blue suture through the tibial tunnel. There should be no slack on the blue suture around the meniscus but it should not be tensioned yet. The hemostat is then placed back on the anchor sheet and the solid white suture is retrieved for loading into the knee scorpion suture passer. And this is passed through the meniscus as well more medially. The black-white conversion suture is used to pull the solid white suture down into the tibial tunnel. The solid blue and solid white sutures are tensioned gradually to reduce the meniscus to its insertion. This can be repeated multiple times or after cycling the knee, and one should note significant tension can be created using this direct fixation. Caution should be paid to not over-tension the construct and cause ripping of the sutures through the meniscus. The anchor sheet can now be cut short flush with the tibia as it does not need additional fixation. This concludes our presentation. Thank you.